We have to ask, what happens if there's a disaster? How do people communicate? How do we make sure that they are able to escape if there's a need be? How do we protect our systems uh, within community? So homeland security and cybersecurity are crucial to our plan of action. The Johnson C. Smith University has been involved in coastal resiliency with Jackson State University and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And this really has produced a lot of results. New courses, students going to graduate programs, students employed by federal agencies and the corporate America in the area of homeland security, cybersecurity. We began with very small funding, it was $50,000 a year. And the original uh, proposal was about emergency management for telecommunication systems. This was the beginning, it was the first grant we ever received with Jackson State University. And since then, we received about $1.5 million of funding, including a $400,000 a congressionally directed grant, where you have the students, we, uh, the new technology center, we are hosting the uh, programs for homeland security and the cyber security. And here we are going to have big data which will be part of cyber security and emergency management. In the past summer, our students uh, explored how to utilize robotics to find solutions for emergency management, especially for the hazardous situations. And also, we conduct research in cybersecurity related issues for emergency management. I have seen the tremendous achievement of our students. Our graduates go to graduate school with full scholarship from NSF, DOD, and the students work for the government agencies and also work for the Fortune 500 companies after they graduate. They know how to articulate, they know how to do the work, uh, the design, the research. They are ready for Homeland Security employment. I've been a student working with the Center of Excellence for a little bit over two years now. Being in this program has granted me access to a lot of different opportunities. I've also been provided a numerous scholarships, uh, IBM, Duke Energy, um, academic achievement, um, different scholarships to help fund my education. What pushed me to get into the cybersecurity field was all the data that there is to learn and how it combines more than just one thing. The neighborhood that I grew up in, there was, it wasn't the best neighborhood. So I was always trying to think, how could I make it safer for the people that I live around? I mean, I still enjoy doing video games, but now I've looked at actually picking up a major in cybersecurity because I learned that I can use technology more to help people.